Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this part of the module, we are going to see the different parts of the software, just have an overview of the different elements of this EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. In this video, we're going to focus only in the configuration tab that we have on the software. So, if we go to the software, just go here, this one. Okay. In order to get access into the software, it's very easy. We just need to move from the properties, this is what we saw in the previous video, into the configuration. So let's open the software to show you. This is the previous project that we were working with. So we just need to go to configuration. And in this view, we can see the configuration tree of the application that we are working with. We have the catalog where we can find all the Modicon M221s that we have. We can see the difference T and 3 expansion models. Okay. We can also have some expert models that we're going to see later. We have safety, transmitter receiver, and the one to control the thesis. And we have the previous offer the TM2. In case we have some migration, we can add this into our configuration. And also the cartridge. I forgot about this. So this is the window that we're going to work with. And if you check here, this is your application with this controller. If you get access here, you can see the digital inputs of the controller. And you can see where are located in the PLC. Here, you can also double click on the part that you don't know. So you can get access to know what is this. Okay. You can see at the bottom, we have the output on this PLC. And the top, we have the digital inputs. If I double click here, which one is the serial line? You have that lead to the configuration of the serial line. If you go here, you can have all the configuration of the IP address. Here in IOBus, you can see the consumption of the IOBus. At the moment, I don't have any expansion, so it's going to be 100%. So, for example, imagine that you are start working with a project. Um, by default, you start with this and to the one, and you probably need a bigger one or a smaller one. So, what you need to do is easy. You just need to go to the catalog, select the Modicon and to the one logic controller, find the controller that you want to work with, for example, this one, just drag and drop. You will have this message about the confirmation and it will change that. And if you want, for example, add a cartridge, you can do that. Let's start, for example, this one for the temperature. You just drag and drop one of the position. There you are. There you have it. And then it will create here the cartridge that you can use. And for example, if you want to use a, a analog input, just drag and drop the one that you want. And if you want more details, for example, here, because you have inputs and outputs, there is a mix. For example, this one, TN3, TN3, you can drag and drop. And you can see here in here in the IO bus that that element is new here. I'm going to add another one. As you can see, there is another one. And if you need to configure this, you can get access. From here, double click on the element or from here, from the IO bus. You can see here the consumption. If I want to use, for example, a relay output, let me just double check. Relay. Another one, drag and drop. You can see that the consumption change. Okay. So this one is very easy. If you just want to change the PLC, you just need to open the catalog, select the PLC that you want, drag and drop it. And that's it. If you want more IOs, 
you need to go to the TM3 digital or analog. You need to know which one is the one you are going to work with and then drag and drop into the system. In order to make further configurations, you can go double click to the element. Okay, you can see all the configuration in here. This one is the run stop, something that I mentioned in the, one of the videos before. You can have it here. Okay, you can add symbol to the variables that you're going to see later. So all about the configuration of the hardware should be in here. And if you want the communication, for example, for Ethernet access, you can configure in here the ETH1, the IP. And then there are some things that we can enable that you're going to see later. The programming and multiple server in case you want it. And the CR1 is similar, the same here. So this is how you configure the hardware. Okay, it's very simple. Drag and drop the elements that you want and then configure in each part of your architecture. You can see the information at the bottom when you double click on it. You can get access and make the modifications that you want. So if we go back to the presentation, just want to check if there is something missing. Okay, we see this. This probably now we can have um, practice for you. Yes, so for your case, drag and drop into the configuration the M21 that you have, the physical, the real M21. If, if you don't have any M21, you just drag and drop and practice with whatever you want. And then drag and drop some elements so in order that you can practice and also configure the IP address and network of your M21 so we can use it later. Okay, so. This is it for this part, for the configuration part. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.